Hey guys, this is Matt Wilson with Rayon Manufacturing. Uh, today we're gonna talk about how we got to the dog trainer fanny pack. Uh, the design process, uh, I, I wanted to really kind of do a video just for you guys so you guys can kind of see what it takes to get to a product. Um, a lot of times, you know, you kind of see just the, just what we, you know, what we put out. And I, you know, especially with this one, cause this is my brainchild. I really wanted this fanny pack to come out. I wanted to show you guys kind of the process. I first started with, this is a Spiritus Systems fanny. I, I think they called it a knapsack or something like that. I literally have used this every day for about three years. Um, it's smaller, uh, it's about four inches by seven inches, I think. Um, you know, little wings on the sides, open compartment. Uh, you know, it's got the elastic on the bottom for a tourniquet or whatever, you know, IR or whatever you want to put on there. This is kind of where I started, it's a very basic design. This is kind of the best one uh, that I've seen. You know, a lot of people try to imitate this. Uh, so I kind of took this uh, and I was like, man, I want to make our own fanny pack, but I want to make it dog trainer friendly. So then the idea of going from that to our incog pouch. So I took our incog design and kind of made it you know, it doesn't have the bottom on it, you know, or anything like that, but made it to where like on one side, it's got the treat side, this side zips, uh, so you can have the pocket. It's not really big enough. Um, and then it had this pocket on the outside. And this is where the tug slide or the tug dangler on this idea came from because I put this on the front part, but didn't know why I did this. And it was just to make sure I had this pocket and that's all kind of the only reason. Uh, but instead of sewing it down, I did it like this so I could put a tug through, which led to the next one, which was this one that's fully closed in on top. And uh, it has zips on the side, which by the way, if you've ever made any anything like this is, painful but so I made this one and you know it has the tug pull through and the, the idea was that I could take you know this off and stuff it in a sleeve in the back to where if I didn't want to use it as a fanny pack then I could use it as a incognito hoodie pouch. It had Velcro on the inside and I was gonna make like an attachment for a treat bag that just kind of Velcroed in there. Uh, it was super complicated, uh, overly complicated. This thing would have cost you guys easily 150 bucks because of the time that it took just to put it together because it's overly complicated with the side pockets and the zipper and the how that it was just, it was too much. So I x that and then that came to what we have now, which is, this is my personal one. Um, if anybody knows me, I, I like a bunch of different patterns kind of thrown together. I don't, I don't really do uh, conformity with normal stuff. So um, I have Southwest pattern and, but this is the first one and the tug slide through on the front is a lot smaller. It doesn't really fit a bigger tug, fits like a real skinny one, but I was gonna, you know, make a funny video where, you know, I had a pool stick in here and I had a chuck it and, I had, you know, anything that I could put in there. Um, I gave a couple to uh, 10th group and also Ranger Battalion. Um, they came back with their own ideas of stuff to put in here that I can't say on camera. And so I made it a little bit bigger so it was guaranteed for a tug um, and not the other thing. But this is kind of the where yours comes from. I didn't put any of the Molly on there or the PALS webbing on there because I don't really use that very much, but I wanted to give you guys that option. And then so from that comes um, the full version you guys are gonna get. And all the time that it took, all the design work, all the throwaways, all of that is now the dog trainer fanny pack that you guys know and love. So thank you guys for tuning in. That's a little bit of our design process and what we go through in order to make a product from start to finish that we know you guys are gonna love. Thanks guys.